good morning good afternoon good evening today i brought galaxy a71 and i was getting a request to make a tutorial video flashing one ui7 yes the one ui7 is supported for the galaxy a71 and the rom still have some minor bugs well porting is not an easy job every ported rom will have some minor bugs anyway those who are a flashaholic uh, who like to have a different ROM as like uh, I was uh, getting a lot of messages. So today I'm going to show if you want to flash one UI 7 portrait ROM on the Galaxy A71 then watch the further video. Getting help from my videos do not forget to like the video. If you haven't subscribed my channel yet click the subscribe button click the bell icon click the select all. Thank you. So whatever I am doing I am doing it at my own risk. If you are following my procedure, let me tell you that the risk is yours. Thank you. So I have downloaded all the files and uh, links are all provided in my video description. Make a new folder and download these files. So this is the One UI 7 ported ROM, the Meta UX ported for the Galaxy A71. The 1.1.0 is like almost stable. And then we have to download the Odin 3.13.1. TWRP, the same recovery file that is working perfectly on Galaxy A71. And this is the another ROM that I'm going to flash first. According to the developer, if issues coming, then flash the UN1CA ROM 1UI 6.1 first, then flash the Meta UX and the VB Meta Disable file. So after downloading, yes, we have to extract the Meta UX. We have to extract it first in the same folder. If you open the extracted folder of the Meta UX, one folder is inside double click to open it and two files like boot image and super image provided with the rom go back and then uh, extract the odin also in same folder then open the extracted folder of the odin double click the odin file to open it click ok on this pop-up window on odin i will click ep slot then i will go to my downloaded folder where I can select the TWRP 3.6.2 for the Galaxy A71 by double clicking on it. Then I will click the CP slot and I will go back again to my downloaded folder and I will select the VP Meta Disable file by double clicking on it. Now coming back towards the mobile phone. So we have to do few things before starting the flashing procedure. First of all, connect internet on your mobile phone right now to check the mobile phone battery it must be charged in case if the mobile phone battery is below 30 percent then charge the battery and then save all the internal storage data like your pictures your videos etc because the data will get formatted galaxy a71 model number is a715 f oblique ds this is the dual sim set both i mean numbers present over here so right now my mobile phone is having a stock firmware one ui version 5.21 and white 13 and the build number you you can see that XB1 is the last alphabets that I got right now. I just flash back the stock firmware because I want to show the uh, procedure from the scratch. Check the internet is connected, then tap the build number for seven times. Developer mode has been enabled. Go back, then tap software update and tap download and install. In case if you have uh, done a factory data reset or if you have flashed the stock firmware so you, we have to do this procedure so my mobile phone is up to date all right then i will go back go back and then i will go to developer options and uh, you can see that oem unlocking is back before it was not here we have to bring back the oem unlocking in case if we have done a factory data reset or if we flash back the stock from here we have to bring back this uh, the oem unlocking you can see that bootloader is already unlocked yes we have to unlock the bootloader before flashing the custom rom now in case if you are uh, having a samsung account sync your samsung account must remove it sync your google account then must remove it to avoid issues go back then go to lock screen and turn off the lock screen by selecting swipe you have done these things then simply power off the mobile phone 
use a good quality of data cable right and check the other side of the data cable must be connected with computer now make sure that the mobile phone is totally power off now we have to boot the phone into Odin mode press and hold the volume up key volume down key then connect the cable with the mobile phone in few seconds you will see a warning screen release both keys right then press the volume up key once to boot into Odin mode press the volume up key once again to light up the screen this is the Odin mode screen of my mobile phone so phone is connected with computer and booted into Odin mode coming back towards the mobile computer screen Odin already detected my mobile phone com4 you can see that and because I already installed the Samsung Android USB driver on Odin click options click untick auto reboot go back to log then click start to start flashing the custom recovery along with the VB meter okay done pass click reset click exit go back to downloaded folder so the phone still booted into Odin mode we have to boot the phone manually from Odin mode to the custom recovery for that check the cable must be connected press and hold the volume up key volume down key and power key when mobile phone restart release the volume down key first okay when the logo appears then release the power key just wait for like uh, 10 seconds and now release the volume up key the phone will definitely boot into TWRP when recovery screen appears then tap wipe tap format data type Y E S tap here done go back to main screen tap reboot tap recovery booting back to the twrp the internal storage will get appears on the computer screen here we go now i will go back to my downloaded folder and i will copy the un1ca rom file first from the downloaded folder and i will go back to my internal storage of the mobile phone and i will paste the file here this copying of file will take a time we have to wait here I got the ROM file on my mobile phone well the uh, data cable is still connected and it will be connected right unlocking the TWRP screen and uh, swipe to unlock tap settings then go to third menu make the screen time out to maximum then go back tap install and tap the uh, ROM file UN1CA by tapping on it and then swipe to start flashing it. Finally, the ROM got flash. The UN1CA is actually One UI version 6.1.1. Go back to main recovery screen, then tap reboot and tap system. Let the ROM boot for once. So finally ROM got booted and I will not complete this setup screen. On this welcome screen press and hold the volume down key and power key for just few seconds then release the power menu will get appears then tap power off let the mobile phone power off and wait for it. Just wait let the mobile phone shows that it is getting charged. Yes you can see that. When you see charging, then press and hold the volume up key and power key. Wait for it. When mobile phones restart and uh, our logo appears, then release the power key. Wait for like 10 to 15 seconds. Do not release the volume up key. Right. Now release the volume up key. Wait for it. The phone will boot into TWRP. First thing first, tap wipe, tap format data, type YES, tap here, done, go back to main screen, tap reboot and tap recovery. The internal storage will get appears once again on your computer screen. So I will go back to my downloaded folder, then I will double click to open the extracted folder of the One UI 7 ported ROM. One more folder, double click to open it then now one more thing i want to inform that first i will try to flash both these files from the recovery 
if these file are not getting flash or for example this super image file is not getting flash showing some type of error then i will proceed another procedure but first i will try to copy both files to the internal storage so i will select both files from the computer hard drive then i will copy both files from here then i will go back to my internal storage and i will paste both files on the internal storage this time the copying of the files will take a time so i got both files copied on my internal storage coming back towards the mobile phone unlocking the twrp screen swipe to unlock tap install then tap install image then you will see both files over here select the boot.img file first by tapping on it then select the boot file, boot section over here boot partition right then swipe to confirm flash boot image got flash go back to the another uh, go back go back once again and select the super.img file by tapping on it then scroll down and select the last one super in brackets you will see system vendor product odm etc etc tap to select the super then swipe now let's see the super image file will get flashed this time or not swipe to confirm flash well you can see that again i'm getting an error size of image is larger than target device now i have to proceed the fast boot method i will go back to main screen then i will uh, tap wipe then i will tap format data i will do once again like tapping yes here the format data yes i have to do it when done then go back to main screen tap reboot fast boot here tap the fast boot so the mobile phone will actually boot into fast boot mode with the help of twrp and i have to copy the platform tools you can see that mobile phone is booted into fast boot mode actually this is the twrp recovery fast boot mode right so the platform tools file uh, link provided you have to download the platform tools with the, like this platform tools is actually coming with the cmd then extract it in same folder then open the extracted folder of the platform tools and select all the files from here copy all the files from here go back then open the extracted folder of the one ui 7 ported rom again open it then paste all the files over here done right now right click on cmd left click on run as administrator click yes on next pop-up window the command window will get open you have to remember that we have boot.img file here and the super.img file here right now bring back the command window and now we have to flash both files one by one first type the command let me show that phone still booted into fast boot mode just swipe to unlock the screen just uh, showing you that the fast boot mode of the twrp is still booted on my mobile phone right first type the command fast boot space minus w clearing all the user data etc etc now done i will flash the boot image file fast boot space flash space boot space boot dot img press enter key done now i will flash the super image file fast boot space flash space super space super check the spellings right s u p e r dot img press enter key the super image file will start flashing to the mobile phone it will take a time well i can see that uh, fastboot error command failed all the files got flash okay 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 so right now i am done from the computer and uh, pressing the power key unlocking the screen then tapping reboot then tapping recovery must boot the phone into recovery swipe to reboot i can disconnect the cable right now phone got booted into twrp just proceed the data format by tapping the wipe then tap format data type y e s why am i doing this because i have done this thing before but the rom was not booting it was stuck on the boot logo so that is why i am doing the format data after flashing the super image file tap here done then tap reboot system so
So the mobile phone will stay a little while on the logo, then it will start booting to the One UI 7 ported ROM. This is the first boot, it will take a little time. Finally, first boot completed, you will see a pop-up screen that there is an internal problem with your device. Contact your manufacturing uh, manufacturer for details. Tap OK. Welcome screen of the One UI 7 got appears on the Galaxy A71. Complete the setup screen. Finally, all things done. So this ROM is coming few applications. We are uh, having open camera over here. We are not having the Samsung camera. So and uh, we have we have messages of this from the Samsung. I hope so. And this is my files and messages. One more. This is the Google message and the phone dialer gallery contacts radio and settings. We'll tap these settings. But the uh, ROM response like tapping anything. The response is so fast. Let me do some changes in display in fonts. Much better. I will go back to settings. And then I will go to about phone. Same device, Galaxy A71 model number is A715F, but the product name Galaxy show, uh, showing Galaxy F14. Both IME numbers present over here. We'll tap the software information. Now the phone got updated from the One UI 5.1 to One UI 7.0, and from Android 13 to Android 15. First Fab 2025 is the Google Play system date. Beast band number provided. Check the number A715F. Okay. And the build number you can see that Meta UX 1.1.0 jumps to stable. This is uh, the stable version according to the developer. Maybe this ROM will have bugs. I was getting a lot of messages. Even I replied to them that the ROM have maybe have bugs, but they said no, it's okay, just make a video. Show us the tutorial video how to flash. I hope you got help from the video. Thank you so much for watching. And if I get an updates about this ROM, I will make another video. Take a good care. Goodbye.